Aloha. I had to make a quick video and get something off my chest because I had referenced it in a few videos a while back, but um, <clears throat> it's a big deal and it's a very it's very in line with the way we learn, the way we understand stuff, the way we don't understand stuff, the way we don't see things. It's like this active denial space that we exist in and exist as and it keeps us from uh, looking into stuff like so-called conspiracy theories even that idea that conspiracy theory that was an invention by the CIA to create this whole um, psychological program of this is real information and that's fake information it's just like the Inquirer magazine was created to throw all that extra information stuff out there to confuse the psyche and then that that makes the having the Enquirer magazine out there makes um, the news the local news and everything more realistic and this is the 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 program that we were in today so stuff like on Yahoo News which is actually more like the Enquirer magazine that's seen as actual news like that's stuff that people should be paying attention to and <clears throat> when we're looking into stuff like the Mandela effect and we're looking into stuff like and experiencing our consciousness as a whole and um, questioning ourselves questioning our reality questioning what it is that we are um, remembering and experiencing and it's a it's a whole relationship that we have with each other and with ourselves that is affected by things that don't necessarily look affect like they're they're connected but they definitely are and um this is the reason why i have such a like a a broad um a broad connection to things in relation to stuff like the flat earth and the Mandela effect and transhumanism and CERN because I see no separation between any of these. The transhumanism uh, agenda, the new age agenda is directly linked to the gentrification process. It's directly linked to the white supremacy program. It's directly linked to the whole cowboys and Indians and the mind so-called minority program that is pumped out on the television on Hollywood and the music industry on politics and your and everything that you can see around you it is a total dumbing down and a suppressing of your consciousness as a whole not only yours but everybody else that is not even engaged in this um, United States the the that narrative that is actually pumping out the most hardcore um, programs that go against uh, the human design, the natural human design. So in a few videos where I was talking about nature versus the synthetic or the artificial, um, when you expand that to just like a broad understanding of where the most artificial synthetic stolen shit comes from it comes out of the United States the the artificial mainstream version of what's hip what's cool what's popular what's important what's newsworthy what's all this shit and when you look into stuff like the mainstream news and everything that shit is it is programmed. It, 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 it's not like it's happening and then they are putting it on the news. No, they are it's, They are making it happen and then they are finding ways to portray that on the news. So it's like a double-edged sword. It's like they're making the so-called they, the, the, this whole interrelated web of fucked upness is... Um, instigating the like negative shit to happen like destructive shit to happen in communities the way they pumped in drugs into Oakland and San Francisco and all of the inner cities to get that drug the way they pump get that into the the system of of those communities to start to separate them destroy them internally so that it would move into the gentrification time frame at a later date which is today 
and then the same the same thing goes for guns and with guns there's no gun they're not making guns in west oakland they're not making guns in brooklyn <clears throat> they're not making guns here they're putting them in there where are all these big ass drug runs coming from they are coming from out of the country they're coming from these so-called drug busts they're not drug busts they are drug transporting operations and they're putting them right into the inner city communities so they can slowly but surely poison and destroy these individuals so that the people that are more susceptible to this new age uh, agenda and this fear program which is installed within the Roman idea of, of interaction, um, they will be more hip to what this this monkey evolution program is about. And this whole cultural appropriation and mainstream popular culture agenda is to make everybody in fear mode, to make everybody like the Romans. And I'll, I'll, I'll say Romans because it takes, like, when people hear white supremacy and white privilege, especially when I say it a lot of times around here, um, it, it, like, hurts like to hear that shit but it is no different than Rome this is new Rome that we are talking about we are in Rome and when you're talking about Rome Rome is very different than the other cultures the indigenous and aboriginal cultures they had their own ways they had their own styles of, of, of controlling people and celebrating things and things that indigenous cultures and other cultures never even thought about doing never even thought about doing the shit that happened in rome a lot of shit that that is destructive today the majority of that shit started in rome we are in new rome and we are constantly um told on a regular basis on purpose that no everybody used to do that and i'm, I'm not saying that like indigenous people and aboriginal people are like the the ancient cultures didn't do stuff that were similar to the things that happened in Rome. But what I'm saying is that there is a celebration of those destructive measures that were um, utilized in Rome that are definitely being utilized today and manipulated to control and control the entire populace and destroy the earth plane as, as a whole, separate you from your most high separate you from your your space of of maximum potential and this design this design we see it as separated and we are the bad guys like we we are considered the bad guys like for what like yesterday this is a, 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 like one of the reasons why this triggered my um my uh wanting to do this video because I went outside to go sit outside for less than five minutes I'm sitting outside and a white couple walks down the street and I'm already knowing in my head they're gonna cross the street before they get to me I'm not smoking anything I'm not doing I'm just sitting there sure enough before less than a block before they get to me like like one two about five cars before they get people. they cross in the middle of the street cross the street and this happens all the time and then people some people say oh this it happens to me too like no this is a very definite thing and what really pissed me off is that i i said this to my because this happens to my friends all the time too when i walk i'm not at all we're not that makes us the aggressor when that ha because the fear mentality within this gentrification program the whole uh, needing dogs in your community and all that shit they think this is okay to feel this way that like it's a celebration of the fear program that's what rome is all about and then when you celebrate that program the way it's designed then you make bad guys so we're inherently the bad guy and then my i told this to my my family I was like I was just outside sitting there and of course another another white couple walks by and then crosses the street and then I'm looking at them the whole they they never make eye contact never want to do this never 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 want to um, be kind of any kind of interactive at all it's it's that whole um, pre-positioned uh, fear program that makes us the bad guys 
and <clears throat> we download this program into our reality and download it into our kids and then download it into the entire society as a whole and then before you know it once it gets all the way into a mass production stage you have a whole race of individuals who are now the fucking bad guys so and here's a prime example i come in the house i'm mexican and black so i come in the house and i have i have a beard so um and I'm so I'm mixed, so I look like a lot of different races. So I come in the house, and then I tell uh, my family, you know, this is what happened. And then my aunt says, yeah, you know why that happened, right? It's because you look Middle Eastern. And I look, and I, I was just like, and this is like a normal response. And there's a lot of people who would say that too. Oh yeah, that's probably why they did it. Or or when I didn't have my hair, when I had my hair faded. It was, I, this should still happen. It's a, it's a fucking thing. But it's the design, it's the program itself of we automatically put that responsibility to act a certain way on us as being the bad guys instead of realizing that no, it's not because I look Middle Eastern or whatever the fuck that is. It's because the fear program within that culture, that mindset, is programmed to act a certain way when they see certain people that has been pumped into their 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 mindset, their their television, their program, their movies, their TV shows, to perceive them to to be a certain way. Like that's that's how that's. When we approach it or say like, and we constantly say, oh, it's because you look like this. No, it's not because I look like this. It's because they have been programmed to see like that. It's not because it starts with the person who sees it because the people who live within these communities before it becomes gentrified, we don't see that shit. We don't look like that. We don't cross the street because of this and that. We don't do that. We interact with our family. We interact with each other because we know who we are. And if we, even if we didn't, we wouldn't do anything stupid like that because we don't have any we don't have that fear program installed within us because this is our community this is our people there is no separation there even if it was we were to we would face it head on that's how that's how this program is outside of the fear program so this goes all the way to the psychological programming of us not even being connected to our own earth plane as a whole not even knowing when you separate people from the the very nature of understanding the place that they live and then you can you can easily separate them from the people around them and then be able to separate them from themselves because they are separated from their whole meaning and purpose in this whole reality and when everybody is separated to the umpteenth degree and they don't even understand their consciousness they don't understand their own memory banks they don't understand their own connection to a creative uh, reality and a, and a meaning and a purpose when they're completely separated and floating out there in la la land of the mainstream bogus ass reality of cultural appropriation then they can be manipulated to think that they're monkeys and then designed to be uh, evolved or mixed in with uh, a fucking computer and then you're now uh, a transhumanist new age agenda computer and everybody and then call that innovation it's just like the like, like like this is innovation this is evolution if you're against this then something's wrong with you like you're the bad guy it's no different than cops like why the fuck is the show cops on tv like the psychology of cops is designed to make cowboys and indians and they keep that show on there to make the, the police, the maritime admiralty system, the cowboys, you root for the cowboys, and the Indians are the melanated peoples. And they are the ones who are the bad guys. And you hear bad boys, bad boys. What you They even got fucking Martin Lawrence and uh, Will Smith with the bad boys show. And like I said, you can even see Beyonce on here. This is about cultural appropriation. Beyonce and Pharrell and, and all these people on here uh, that are um, mixing and all this other stuff. 
it's not just regulated to race. This is these are Roman individuals. I'm not talking about Rome. There's just the majority of the people who are in Rome uh, or, or um, pump out that Roman uh, frequency are white. It's the majority. It, Rome is known for being uh, a white culture. This is why I have. I uh, refer to it as such, but these people in Hollywood and the music industry and all that bullshit, these are fucking, they're not, they're not black or, or, uh, Mexican or whatever anymore. They don't represent that shit in any of their music or any, if they represent anything in there, it's all to represent the, uh, watered down version of their culture. So they're not like unapologetically whoever they are anymore they are a watered down version and even if they promote themselves as being unapologetically whatever even even that shit is bullshit too because there is no unapologetically whatever you are just either who you are or something else and these motherfuckers are something else they are roman these are roman people teaching you roman ways making you adjust to a roman frequency and this is what um, this is this is what the program does to individuals that will have them defending shit that they don't even fucking understand themselves. Let them, defending other people's theories upon theories. This is why people, a lot of people in the flat Earth community, so-called flat Earth community, or talking about flat Earth stuff, and even talking about Mandela effect stuff. Most people don't even want to engage in people with who are just talking about, you know, oh, it's not flat or oh, you guys are just misremembering. I don't want to fucking deal with that shit, man. That's some this you got to understand that shit for yourself. Just people people locked into this Roman grid system which I was definitely locked in. They just defend stuff that uh because they're defending their own uh artificial reality. And when you're defending an artificial reality, you don't need any kind of depth of knowingness. You don't need any depth of anything. You just need words and emotion and then you press go and then that's it. And that's that's what this whole system is based on. That's that's how we go to war. That's why George Bush was on TV and was just like, we need to get these terrorists. Let's get on out there and get these terrorists. And yeah, terrorists, build a wall. It ain't no fucking different. They push out emotion and make you agree to Roman ideals. This is new Rome. And then you are constantly distracted by this so-called mixture. We're supposed to be, United States is supposed to be the, the mixture of, of everything no this shit is out there to make you think that everything is all the same it's to water everything down so it will validate the actions that are taken within this system it's not out there to show how diverse everything is it is out there to make you think like cowboys and indians this is why when cops is still on tv that came out in like 1992 or some shit and that it the cop the show cops is only out there to make you scared as shit. It's only out there to make you think that you are uh, a slave and the cops are the good guys. They are catching the bad guys, and you know this this is how you think. It's like oh, when people watch cops, listen to how they listen. How, oh, you shouldn't have ran. You if you weren't doing anything, then you shouldn't have ran. And same thing goes for the people in the government. If they ain't got nothing to hide, then why the fuck are they hiding all this shit? Like, if they don't have anything to hide, the government as a whole, then why the fuck are they hiding all the, all this secret programs, secret space programs and all that stuff? What the fuck is going on there? So they just flip the script and then tell you, no, it's not us that's doing this. It's them that are the bad guys. We're the good guys. You need to follow the rules and then constantly adjust the rules with these legislatures and this whole political system and then constantly close that box that you've been conditioned to love and be a part of and then just be like oh yeah this is this is it this is this is good we're um we're, we're the good guys and in, in order to uh combat this this um destructive world that we live in is human nature they just call roman nature human nature it's not 
Roman culture is not human nature. Roman culture is Roman culture. That's it. Even if you can call it a culture, it's a way of life, a way of control. And we have been manipulated by these magicians since those days. And it's been amplified to a space of this is no no different than cowboys and Indians straight up scalping people today. And we call it when we address these issues and call it white privilege and call it white supremacy. There's this there's this underlying um, hurt that's there because you are talking directly to the the heart of the issue that is the destructive program and separation program as a whole that relates directly to the religious design of separating individuals. The, the separation that happens in the families in the inner cities is no different than the separation that happens in uh, with people's most high creator that happens in like the church. The same, it's the same design is make to make you separated so you can be culturally appropriated into a Roman design so you can be part of and accept this whole artificial reality that is just like oh this is cool this is this is the way it is you know just lighten everything get over it that's the main point it's just like get over it everything that is now it's it's it, that's where the evolution program comes in it's like it's all like about since we've evolved from they say we evolved from monkeys that technology is like since monkeys can't make a smartphone that everything is okay now that's happening in the culture the 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 mainstream the world as a whole that's happening on the news as a whole is okay because we did it we evolved like what else do you want like, no, you guys are missing the whole fucking point. It doesn't work like that. We've already, this is why they can't understand the pyramids or can't tell you that they, they understand the pyramids. Because those cultures back then completely throw a monkey wrench in the whole monkey evolution bullshit reality because it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like monkeys to humans to... Neil Armstrong walking on the the fucking moon. That's all a big ass lie, a big ass movie. And because of all these grand things that happened, when you tell people the earth is not round, the Mandela effect exists. There is a white supremacy program. You have white privilege. When you say these things, People get if, if severely offended because you're totally destroying all of the foundations that have been created by this synthetic reality. And we can't look into it as smart as we are, or whatever we are. We can't even allow ourselves because we have been conditioned into this emotional vibration of these are the good guys. These are the bad guys. This is this is old stuff. This is new stuff. When they tell you that black people only originated on Africa and then um, the only way they got to the United States was on slave ships. That's total bullshit. There were already black people all over there. Melanated people were all over this world before any of this Columbus shit. Period. End of fucking story. If you don't understand that, look that shit up yourself. So the entire slave program existing on the History Channel is to, is to make you think that that Roman program of conquer, savages, that whole shit was <clears throat> the reason why you are the way you are and where you are and who you are and where your ancestors came from. That's that whole fucking program as a whole. If you are still falling for that 10th grade world cultures fucking story then that's not anybody else's problem but your own so when people approach you and say no you have this white privileged active denial space of history and understanding of your reality then be humble in yourself to realize that there's more information out there that exists besides the stupid ass university system bullshit that you have been 
taught to worship. It is beyond that. It is so far beyond that. So I wanted to <clears throat> share this this moment of just like expressing <clears throat> what I experienced yesterday in my entire fucking life. Um, but even more so, it, it's a big deal because we have our own family that are saying, oh, it's because of this. No, reprogram yourself or deprogram yourself. First of all, understand the program of, you know, n this is how it is. If we don't address it as um, it's not my problem, I don't have the problem because I grew a beard. I don't have a problem because my skin is darker. I don't have that problem when the problem exists, when the problem is made into a problem because people take action because they are defending themselves from a, an illusion <clears throat> of a problem and do shit like cross the street or get really scared and 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 for no fucking reason because and the, the reason the only reason that they have is because they've been programmed by this system as a whole this system is designed to make you the the news the that that's the design i don't know. I just wanted to read this real quick. This is a list of stuff <clears throat> that uh, I was just kind of writing down. It's going to be all over the place, too, but yeah, I, I'm all over the place anyway. But this is basically what I wanted to, to share in this video is the the... If we don't recognize that white supremacy exists, if we don't recognize that there is a very definite program that we have in our own reality that allows these systems like the transhumanism movement the new age order the new world order the um, evolution program the university system the globe model and what that does to people the separation program these are all separation programs there's no i i make no difference uh, there's no difference in my understanding of this reality from white privilege white privilege existing and the flat earth there's no separation there same goes for the mandela effect and transhumanism and cern and all that shit. there is not one layer of separation there because this is all one big ass story to make us think and act a certain way and when you have the middleman of fiat currency and other middle man stuff like um religions that make people hate themselves and destroy other people and it allows this shit to happen because we are in this hopeless state of being of just being like well that's just the way it is this is how it is and then we're stuck this is what the whole political game is this is when they put trump out there he's there's two people that could be in charge of or getting ready to be two people that could be in charge of making big ass decisions in the United States, which is a superpower on the entire earth plane. And one of these motherfuckers is Donald Trump. It ain't no different than than George Bush, but it's worse. It's like this whole it's it's a whole space of so that is a hopeless state of being when you're seeing from like the regular person's perspective, like you have no say in anything. Like, that's really fucked up. And not to mention the fact that the whole voting process is a damn lie anyway. Like, they they pick these individuals. Whether they pick Trump or Bernie or Hillary, they choose these people in order to back up the program that they've designed to take step. And they tell you voting is all that is part of your whatever these are all control grids. This is Rome. We live in Rome right now. And I wanted to share some of the things that um, we don't necessarily look at when we talk about white privilege. Because some people don't even know what the fuck white privilege is. It's not just, you know, being able to walk somewhere and not have somebody cross the street because they think you're such and such or whatever. It ain't only that kind of shit. Like... And that, and that in itself is enough to reference right now because what does that do to the individual? 
like me like now i'm a bad guy like i feel like something's wrong with me like i have to carry that shit around for me with me we have to adjust our entire lives like that we have to think anytime we walk down the street that oh they're thinking about crossing the street or they're thinking i'm i'm a bad guy i'm gonna do something to them that's a fucked up mentality to be having and it's not even because us it's because people constantly do this stuff every day. They're constantly crossing the street. They're constantly looking a certain way or saying certain things on a regular basis. So it's an entire mindset within a certain race of people. I'll just call them Romans right now because this it's not because white is not a people. White is a state of fucking mind. So, I will reference from now on Roman, uh, this whole culture as Roman. So, <clears throat> so what is Roman privilege? Roman privilege is that whole mindset of get over it. Like, this is what happened. Evolution exists. Uh, conquering happened. All this happened. Colonialism happened. Uh, yes, you were slaves. We see the story. Now you're successful in the American dream. You have athletes. You have musicians. You have Hollywood actors. You have all of this. You're, you're successful in Rome now. You're no longer a slave in Rome. So why don't you just get over it? Yet they're still fucking putting cops on the news to make you believe in this system and be scared on a regular basis so that's the that's at the heart of it it's this active denial this active denial of get over it and don't look at all this other stuff like lynching which only happened in this whole roman program and very fucking recently <clears throat> lynching happened boiling of people burning people and i'm saying like all this stuff obviously um happen in other other places or whatever but i'm speaking on how this shit is in this design like the people who have done this in other cultures or whatever have done this largely because Oh, man, I'm not even going to go there because that's a whole nother fucking story. My focus right now is the making of a business of this shit. This is a design. All this scalping and lynching and burning and bioweapons and poisoning and disease. All this shit is a fucking design. They have made a business out of this shit and have convinced you to love it. Other cultures have not done that. It's gone so far to where it is destroying the earth plane. And this is the shit that Romans don't want to look at because Romans are the ones who have done this and still do this today. So yes, Rome is responsible for lynching, burning, boiling, scalping, poisoning, using bioweapons using disease weapons, using psychological programming that make you celebrate other people's holidays and don't even get to celebrate your own, which is why the Roman design is on that has cops on television to, to make you love the system and hate the people that are against the system or who have been put on camera to look like they're against the system. The public education system is designed to pump out Roman programming so you will think a certain way, act a certain way, create your universe a certain way, and treat people a certain way. The politics is designed by Roman design to pump out ideas and create that, that structure that will allow all of this destruction, self-destruction and overtly uh, external destruction as a whole to keep going on Hollywood is Roman all of the people on there like the, <clears throat> the, the privilege the privilege of Roman privilege is to act like this shit doesn't exist 
that is the privilege that we don't want to talk about and look at. We act like it doesn't exist. And the, the essence, the foundation are these bogus ass realities like the evolution program and the Big Bang Theory and the NASA program as a whole. This is an entirely artificial reality that goes down to our very cultures, our very homes that we have, <clears throat> our communities, and the way we create our personalities and raise our children to think and act. These are our, these so-called idols that are out here. You have Hollywood um, pumping drugs into the melanated communities. This is totally a Roman design. Pumping drugs, making drugs, making chemical, chemical weapons, and having the CIA and FBI install, deliver these drugs to inner city communities and make people get uh, addicted to these stuff, sell these to their to their family members, and then have them get addicted to it. This is this is part of white privilege that people don't want to look at. There ain't there ain't Native Americans doing this shit. There ain't people from Africa doing this shit in in East Oakland. This shit is directly related to the white supremacy program. This is happening. And we act like it doesn't happen. And it's easier for Romans to act like this doesn't happen because that's the way the system is designed. It's this active denial. And there are people who are dying because of this active denial. In fact, defending it. This goes back to the, what I was saying before. People will defend theories, the evolution theory, the Big Bang theory, the globe theory. People defend this shit. And we think it's just a fucking game because it's just information. No, this is directly relinked to these supremacy programs, which are part of people dying on the streets right now. They design societies to hate melanated people. Your Hollywood, your local news, your cops shows, everything is designed to put a spin to make people look like savages, just like cowboys and Indians. Like they said, those are the savages. We need to give them religion. We need to give them education. We need to give them civility. That is a design that has never died all the way back from Rome. And they use these ideas and these, these bogus ass like inventing terrorist groups, like inventing, like funding Al-Qaeda, funding 9-11, funding ISIS groups. Like if you don't know about this shit, you need to look in this shit. This is way, this fucking, you way behind the fucking curve to not be understanding this stuff. I'm sure everybody who's listening to this right now already sees this shit right now, but I uh, have seen it before, understand it in some kind of way, but that shit exists. These motherfuckers invent these programs in order for people to uh, follow their agendas of invading other countries. That is a big fucking problem. This is, it is the fucking problem. Like, if we can't see that this happens, but you have to be in a privileged mentality to think and act like this shit don't exist. We are in a privileged mentality to act like this shit don't exist because there is somebody right now, right? now being bombed by a fucking drone made out here to go push some bogus ass globe model flat earth Rome or uh, globe model flat earth hiding uh Roman program spreading agenda on the other side of the world like all of these are directly connected they use these these terrorist groups that they invent to go start wars in other places and distract an entire populace from realizing that this is Rome. This is a supremacy program. They make people celebrate fear and then promote it. You you celebrate this shit when you're going when you're when you're watching the cops show, <laughs> like when you're watching. Um, 
the news and seeing how this 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 shit is presented to you this is a celebration of fear and then you promote it you tell your friends about this shit they make people love them make people love war make people worship this program when you see all these army commercials they play all this fucking music and they make all these movies about war and they put these superheroes in front of you you are celebrating this roman ideal and amplifying this privilege as a whole they install this new religion these religions get installed into your space based upon your lack of understanding and lack of connection as a whole so they install this with the intent to sep to actually not bring them closer to their spiritual connections but actually separate them from their spiritual connections and then make a fucking profit from it like with the monetary system involved in all these churches and as a whole existing as a whole they are using spirit to separate people from their connection using it against themselves and then making and then uh, to boot making a fucking profit off that cell off off of that connection and lack of connection this Hollywood program can can create superheroes and creates bad guys. So what are your super... Look at all these old school movies. Even the movies of today. You have Roman people looking like the superheroes. And then you have so-called minorities. Who are actually the majority. The fucking bad guys. They're invading all these countries. Doing all this shit. This is a constant thing. It's a regular thing. And the privilege of this program is to act like this shit don't exist to act like it's not a big problem and act like it's not connected to everything that is white privilege that is roman privilege to have this whole program exist and then to be actively in denial and then take it to a, in a further extreme of defending the shit to defend these programs, to defend these theories. They create these ideas. They create these bad guys. And subconsciously, subliminally, these kids and adults are constantly being raised to worship um, people who are not, who are, who are part of a program that are not uh, directly related to how they see themselves so they actually create this hate program where people kids fucking hate themselves because they're not like what is on promoted in front of them on a regular basis that's a big fucking problem they promote the slave mentality and limited history so all these slave movies putting roots back out there that is a limited history when you understand egypt when you understand machu picchu when you understand the mayan people and the olmec people they know about all this shit but they ain't gonna fucking tell you about it they won't tell you about people being draped in gold they won't tell you about people building the pyramids and building machu picchu and building all of these interconnected societies that were based upon nature not synthetic reality. They won't tell you about this shit. They will tell you their history, which is them, their limited history, which is them where they are in power consistently. And then you will just have to defend that and say and be okay with it because that's, you know, oh, that's it. You know, we did it. We did it. That's it. We're here now. So that's all we got to do with it. So this goes with all like fucking chemtrails. Like back in the 50s. They were uh, spraying chemtrails in San Francisco, it's the 50s or 60s, and some, somewhere around that time frame. They were actively testing on people, civilians, spraying chemtrails back there. Like, that is a Roman program. You don't see any Native Americans getting in a fucking plane, putting chemicals in it, and spraying it over Oakland, and being like, oh yeah, this is a test. No. Fuck that. That is for this. The only mentality that would do this shit is a fucking Roman design. Gentrification with the monetary system. Moving people out so they can move people in. 
And then having people that are moved in there create this fear mentality and have other people hate themselves and create this whole mentality that affects people on a subconscious level. That is a fucking Roman program. We are programmed to celebrate traditions that are not our own and look down on our own celebrations. Like that's that's a double-edged sword right there. You have to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. You have to celebrate uh, Independence Day. You have to celebrate Thanksgiving. You have to celebrate Christmas. You have to celebrate all these fucking holidays that are out there. And if you don't, you're something's wrong with you. You're a fucking bad guy. You are an Indian. And everybody else is the cowboys. And the cowboys are the cool people. This is that whole divide and conquer mentality of New Rome. They steal culture, culturally appropriate, steal culture, steal style, and then make a fucking business out of it. This is making a business out of stealing culture and stealing style, making money off of it, and then making other people feel bad about it. And then when you say something about it, they're like, oh, no, we're just, we're all one anyway. It's just one race. We're all, give me a fucking break. Give me a fucking break. No, there's there's a design here. It's to separate people and not realize the, the, the beauty of the connection within our differences. That's what they're trying to hide. They're trying to hide the fact that there's nothing wrong with our differences. Because they need to hide the fact that there is something going on within our our. Uh, our organic connections that we have outside of the control grid. They don't want that to happen. So they create this system where people hate eat, and kill each other and and they promote that on a regular basis as if that's who we are. They call it human nature. They call it evolution. That's not what it is. We're not we're not like that. That's Rome. Human nature is not Roman nature. This whole idea of this God-fearing shit, that was all an invention to create the, the mentality of suffering. So Roman programming would be validated because you have a God that is evil and will fucking destroy you and doesn't like you or resent you and you're just this heathen who's a piece of shit, who needs to be, um, who needs to be, um, disciplined by your Roman controllers. So this is where it goes all the way into spirit. This is where it goes all the way to your connection to your, your, your natural space. This is where it goes all the way to connection with the, the earth plane and your meaning and your purpose and this is where it goes into the transhumanism design and the evolution theory and the big bang theory and all that other bullshit this is how it's all fucking tied in and if we don't realize that it goes down to our very personalities our very holidays our, re our so called religions our university system as a whole if we don't realize that this shit is all connected to gentrification and Everything. If we don't see that this shit, we will be walking into another fucking trap. And they are gearing up on a regular basis. When you see that that Trump is out there and people are cheering for Trump and even cheering for Bernie Sanders. How I see it, there's no fucking difference between Trump and Bernie Sanders. Not one fucking difference. This is Rome. This is straight up Rome. And if you see a difference, then you're missing something. There is no difference. They both exist in Rome. New Rome. So that's basically all I got for this video. Thank you for joining me. Until next time. Peace, love, and harmony.